Welcome back. And now we're going to leave Saskatchewan and we're actually going to come to Toronto where we're going to be hearing from a charity called Human Family in Christ. It's based in Toronto, but it reaches children actually in Bolivia. Welcome, Paula. Thank you so much for joining me today. I appreciate your time. Thank you for having me on, Tanya. So tell us about your charity, Human Family in Christ. Yes, yeah, so it was started by Father Kacheri, uh, who was a priest at St. Joseph Streetsville Church in Mississauga. He founded it back in 1989, along with some other seminarians. And Father Kacheri, unfortunately, has since passed away, but the charity is still doing amazing, amazing work down in Bolivia. Okay, so what kind of things uh, does this charity do? How, who do you help? So we help the poorest of the poor in Bolivia. We help specifically a community outside of a city called Cochabamba, but they're outside of that city. So they're in an even more impoverished rural area. And it has two programs. So one program helps to educate children in poor families by supply, giving them things like school supplies, and other needs. It helps also um, single mothers that are very poor. It helps to give them resources so that they can keep the family together and they don't have to give up their kids. And these are things like food as well as giving them courses so that they can learn skills in order to make a living to be able to um, feed their children. Now, you mentioned that these uh, the, the, the recipients of, this, of the help are the poorest of the poor. Help contextualize that for Canadians who are watching and may not understand that, that level of poverty. So these are people that, um, for example, having to pay 30 Bolivianos a month to keep their child in school is sometimes not happening. And to give you an idea, that's essentially $6 Canadian. So these, these are people that uh, can't even afford $6 to keep their child in school. And so this program helps them to be able to keep their child, children in, in the public education system, which requires that minimal fee, but which is still a barrier to um, some very poor people. And uh, it also, uh, it, like it, it means keeping the family together as well. Yes, because $6 a month for Canadians is it, it maybe a medium coffee at a Starbucks or whatever size they are. But um, for someone who's really poor, that could be the difference between a, a, week's of me a week of worth of meals. Uh, it could be quite significant. Yes. And if you want to break the cycle, education can help break the cycle of poverty. It can. And I think also just empowering the women to learn skills that they need in order to um, become self-employed and um, be their own, like be an entrepreneur and things like learning how to sew so that they can sell clothing so that they can feed their families. And um, like, just to give you an example, Tanya, like the, some of these people, like they live in homes where there's no flooring, like it's just dirt. And um, they, like the thing that's most important to them is staying together and the program helps to keep these poor families together, helps um, single mothers who really struggle be able to care for their children. And I've been down there and I met with some of these families and I can say that like, they are so grateful. <laughs> it's like, you things that we just completely take for granted, they truly are just so grateful to Canadians and to this Canadian charity in particular for, for thinking of them <laughs> because yes. Bolivia is not a very known country and um, things like the food they receive and the books for their children and even just the community it's created because these women are no longer alone. They now have a community together with other women who are also in the same situation and also trying to get ahead. Um, they really cherish that and they, they really couldn't express enough to me just how grateful they are to their Canadian benefactors that are helping them. And um, if you have, a few, we only have about 45 seconds left and I wanna make sure we, we get your website, but um, are there any s examples of a success story? Uh, yes, lots of them. So um, 
Uh, there's people from the program whose children have gone on for the first time in gener like since ever, since so never to attend uh, post-secondary education. Wow. And then we also have a program that helps those people who have shown that desire that they want to continue with their education. That's wonderful. Um, there's women who have been liberated from violent situations because of the community that's been created by the program. And uh, very quickly, surgery. what's, what's yeah. the website? So the website is shfic.ca.